Yo, what's up? This is your boy Derek Branch here of uh, SportsTalk365.com. Today, I just want to talk about the uh, recent, uh, you know, I guess, discussion, outrage on the um, dollar, the, the contract value of uh, Cam, uh, New England Patriots' uh, new quarterback, Cam Newton. As many, as many of you already know, um, Newton signed with the uh, New England Patriots on a Sunday evening, around that time, around 7, 8 o'clock-ish. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, depending on where you, uh, you live, um, he signed a, a one-year deal with the Patriots, and the contract is, according to, um, i got this report in my hand right now, you know, Jason Lockenfora reported that Newton's base salary for the 2020 season is, 2020 season is $1.5 million, with a $550,000 guaranteed bonus at signing. $550,000 guaranteed at signing. Newton can make up to $6.45 million, Many more incentives per game, roster bonuses. So, overall deal is a maximum deal worth of seven point five million, according to Ian Rappaport. So, you know, a lot of people, you know, a lot of NFL analysts, you know, TV personalities, you know, first tag, you know, the usual shows, first tag, undefeated, well, undisputed, you know, um, what else? The show that comes on before under. under Undisputed. It's just a lot of you know outrage about uh, Cam Newton's contract and how uh, Richard Sherman even put a, put out a tweet about how uh, Chase Daniels is making his own part of on track to make uh, thirteen million dollars. He's a backup QB. He hasn't uh, doesn't even have the accolades of what Cam Newton has accomplished in his career to get that kind of money. And, you know, um, you know. Stephen A. Smith came out with some with uh, some uh, takes the other day. Well, recently about news contract and a five hundred guaranteed five hundred fifty five hundred fifty thousand dollars is nothing. It's a cheap deal. It felt like uh, Newton got uh, screwed over. Um, James Winston's deal was pretty cheap. You know, a lot of yeah, you know, some couple of people out, a lot of people outraged about that. You know, um, my thing is listen, the Patriots got. Cam Newton on a uh, a cheap deal, cheap you know one point five million dollar deal, but it's the thing, man. This uh, Cam Newton's deal, cheap cheap deal, balls on the one day for the Patriots, and you know you see this with a lot of other great you know ran properly teams that ran properly. They want these teams want Pro Bowl level performances at bargain deals. That's the nature of the game. So. Cam already just Cam's uh value went down after no team you know really show interest in signing him, in spite of what's going on with uh the coronavirus pandemic and all that other stuff. But they did not teams not willing to bring him in for a workout because of his injury. I'm like that's that's kind of a bunch of you know nonsense because if you're really interested in Cam, then you assigned him, man. It, it's it's that simple, bro. But um. What happened was that they saw the Patriots saw that they could have got no other team was interested in him, and it was like, okay, we can get him at this cheap deal. We're gonna bring him in, see what he can do, perform for us, and then we'll go from there. That's what the, that's the that was the whole plot of the situation, man. They weighed it out. And I, me personally, I felt like if he went to like Alex Los Angeles or something, that would have been the better deal for him, the better situation for him. But the Patriots, I hope the Patriots could. Provide him with the right the right weapons to uh, win, but I, even though even though it doesn't happen this year, I still believe that with the the pieces they got, it's it's okay, it's solid, it's not great, it's not the best offense in the world. He can I think he could do something with that. He did it in Carolina, he could do it in New England. Any guys and he has a good defense to um support. So that's how I feel about that man. But you see this is done with a lot of teams, man. You see it with the Saints do it. You know they're trying to. You know, stall out the uh, Jadavion Clowney uh, deal. You know, Clowney, you know, apparently turned down a lot of money to sign with the Browns. And now, you know, he's, nar he's narrowed his uh, search down to the, the Cowboys and the Saints. Yeah, either one of those teams going to get, um, going to take him. Probably had a cheap deal, another cheap deal. It's like what the Saints did with, um, the Saints have been doing this for years, man, with these deals, man. They try to get they get Pro Bowl level production out at a bargain price, man. That's the that's the nature of the game for Super Bowl contenders, man. They're not gonna 
They're gonna set a, set a price at what they think you is worth, what, what they think a player is worth, and that player doesn't um rack on that pro on that contract, that price range. They pull the contract, they move on, and move to the next person, and that's what the Patriots did, man. They they knew that Cam Newton was on the market, and the other team was interested, except the Browns. I heard the Browns were interested, I believe, according to those reports, and that's what happened. They capitalized on the deal. He signed it. Cam Newton's already came out and said it's not about uh, money. The contract is about respect. You got to take his word for it. Um, it is what it is, man. Cam's going to have to just um, ball out this season. And if he does, I don't think he's leaving the England without a new deal. That just means that's that quarterback of the future. He's only 31 years old, I believe, 31, 30 years old. Still got a lot of years left, man. He still has a probably a good solid eight years left. Six to eight years left if he can stay healthy. No 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 have any other setbacks. But that's all I got for right now, man. You give me a like, comment, subscribe. Do you feel outraged about uh Cam News new contract? Do you think that he should have got more money? Do you think that uh it was because of the pandemic that other teams weren't interested in him? Just let me know how you feel in the comment section below. Give me a like. Comment, subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you feel. And description, description box below this video. Check out uh, sportstalk365.com for the latest content on the world of sports. That's all I got for right now. Have a blessed day. Peace.